Inka to makam. So that's how you say, how are all of you in Rumsen, which is one of the Ohlone languages. So this video will be looking more specifically at um, all eight of the Ohlone languages and kind of how they're each similar and how they're each different from each other only in terms of phonologically. So I'm not really looking at the grammar or the word structure. I'm more looking at the sounds. So just to put this out here, what is a proto-language? I'm not going to be focusing on this for a really long time, but a proto-language is basically a hypothetical language. It's kind of like the mother language for a language family. So the eight Ohlone languages are all in one language family. They do branch off into their own subsets, but what I call Proto-Costanoan is the mother language for the Ohlone languages. So I think Catherine Callahan, which is another linguist, she has done some publications about the Ohlone languages and their family and the proto-language. So this is like not really a language that is documented. It hasn't been like recorded, but it's just, you know, like a hypothetical language there for linguists and researchers or just like anyone who wants to learn language to understand how the modern eight Ohlone languages have developed from this uh, into one family. So just for some context, these are this is a map of all the eight Ohlone languages. So there are three main branches. The first is Karkin. So Karkin is probably the least documented Ohlone language and it is all by itself because it's just so radically different from the other seven. So if you can see here, it's... um spoken around here there's actually a place called Karkina Strait it is like a, a water channel right here it's named after the Karkin people so the northern branch is pretty big it includes Chochenyo in the east bay Tamian in the south bay and Ramaitush which is the SF peninsula so a lot of people say these three languages are likely to be dialects of one language but here it is considered to be three separate languages but they are very very similar so Awaswas, which is spoken around Santa Cruz, um, that is another northern Ohlone language, but it I at least I consider it a little bit transitional, a little bit in the middle. And just moving down the map, Mutsun and Rumsen, they are both southern Ohlone languages, so they are they tend to have more differences from the northern Ohlone. But interesting enough, the very south here, Chalon. They are actually considered Northern Ohlone, but it is considered transitional. It is kind of in the middle, and you will see later why. They're very much in the middle. Even though geographically they are South, they are considered Northern Ohlone. So the three most documented languages are probably Chochenyo, Mutsun, and Rumsen because JPH worked on the last native speakers um, and documented a lot of notes. Probably the next, I would say, are... Awaswas and Chalom, I think Pen Pinart and Henshaw in the 1800s also gathered some word lists. Tamian, Ramaytush, and Karkin are the least documented. There's maybe like at most 200 words known. I think Tamian the most, Karkin maybe like 50 words, Ramaytush like 100. So let's look at some of these phonological differences. So I'll say um, this is just a little visual for guo, but guo, um, kk, little w, that is prob that is um, what we would say proto kostunoan So that is the sound system in proto kostunoan So ru guo is not a word that has ever been recorded ever. But basically, if proto kostunoan existed, this is what the word for house would be ru guo. So Northern Ohlone tends to take the W. So they take the W, Southern takes the K. You'll see this much later in the slides. So the other difference we'll be talking about is also Tia. So if Proto Ohlone or Coast No One existed, it would be Patian for blood. Northern takes double Y, Southern takes double Ch. So, I mean, of course, this is not set in stone. You will see exceptions. So this thing here is called the Retroflex S. So it's uh, the sh sound. It only exists in Rumsen. The other Ohlone languages have lost this most likely. And we'll probably never know for sure because there is such poor documentation for so many of the um, eight languages. So if proto 
coast known existed, the word for flower would likely to be di wish, di wish. So northern Ohlone takes sh, which is the English sh sound, and the southern Ohlone takes the s sound. And the last pair we'll be looking at is LR. So I did not say, you know, exactly what the protocost to um choice would be. It's very unclear. My I myself don't know, but typically northern Ohlone takes the L and the southern Ohlone takes the R. So the, it's um not the English R but the R, R like the Spanish R. So um that's kind of the four differences we'll be looking at here's just a visual you see here here's double k here's double um double w and in the middle you see chalo so chalo is very interesting it is transitional for a reason and you'll see later why so let's look at the word for house and blood which you mentioned earlier so chochenyo's ruwa ruwa and there was no documented word for ramaytush but Tamian has ruwam, ruwam. Awaswas ruwa, ruwa. So these are the four northern Ohlone languages that we know of. Oh, sorry, and Chalun. Ruwa, ruwa. So Chalun is different from the rest. Um, instead of a double kind of consonant thing, they just add a glottal stop for the first one. So ruwa, ruwa. So these are the northern Ohlone languages, and as you can see, they take the W. Let's look at Mutsun and Rumsen. Ruka, Ruka, and Rumsen is Ruk, Ruk. So that, oops, but that you can see very clearly how northern and southern Ohlone is different. And I didn't bother putting Karkin because it's just so undocumented, but there's no, um, no one has written the word for house in Karkin. So look at blood. So Chochenyo is Payan, Payan. Ramaytush is the same, Payan, Payan. And Tamian, Payanem, Payanem. The E-M at the end is just, you know, what Tamian does. It's different. Awaswas is Payan, Payan. Also the same as the first two. And, oh, I put Pachalo on the bottom this time. But um, Payan, Payan is for Chalo. So, as you can see, Northern Ohlone takes the Y. Let's look at Mutsun and Rumsen. Mutsun takes Patian, Patian, and Rumsen is Patchan, Patchan. So here in this case, Mutsun is not Patchan, and that is because they probably just retain the double T Y. It's just in the language. It is the only Ohlone language language where T Y is like a phoneme. It is a part of the alphabet. T T Patian, Patian. And Rumsen is Pachan, Pachan. So here in this case, the most notable is that Northern Ohlone takes the Y. So let's look at the word for sun and the word for big. So Chochenyo is Hishmen, Hishmen. Ramaytush, Hishmen, same thing. Damien, Hishmen, Hishmen. Or more likely, Hishmen. So Damien is just different and they usually stress the last syllable. But for Almost the same is the same so far. Now, waswas is hismen, hismen. So this is why I personally consider a waswas a little transitional. It's a little bit in the middle because sometimes it does not follow northern Ohlone rules. So mutsun is hismen, hismen. Rumsen is ichmen, ichmen, and chalon is hismen. So even though chalon is considered northern Ohlone, this case it looks more like southern Ohlone. Like Mutsun, Hisman. And the reason why Rumsen is just different is because, you know, Rumsen is just different. They have a lot of words that are clearly unrelated to the rest of Ohlone. Some of the words are more related to Eslin. So, um, they're just very um, divergent. So there are other words like the word for salt. Chochenyo, I know, is Awesh, Awesh. And Rumsen is Ox, Ox. So in that case, they do take the regular S instead of the Sh. So let's look at big. Chochenyo is wetdel. Wetdel. No one documented the word for Ramaytush, but Tamian is wetdel. Wetdel. Waswas is wetresh. Wetresh. Mutsun is wetre. Wetre. Rumsun is wetter. Wetter. And Chalun is wetresh. Wetresh. So 
usually for like um normal only Cho Chen Yun Tamian, it is an L instead of an R. So a was was in this case looks more like Southern Ohlone. They take the R. And um Rumsen, the this word wet there only applies to having a big mouth. So if you want to say the regular word for big, it's ishak. Very different. But in this case, this is why I think Chalo is a little transitional. It is not usually um it doesn't always follow northern only rules because here it takes the R. And this is why it's considered transitional. And you'll see more in the next slide. Let's look at the word for mouth. Sometimes a word just depends on where it's placed in the branch. So karkin is well well cheat. Well well cheat. Mouthful. Chochen is wepper. Wepper. Ramai tush is wepper. Same thing. Tamien is wepperem. Wepperem. Awas was wepper. Wepper. Mutsun is hai. Hai. Rumsen is hai. And chalon is also hai. So if you remember, Karkin is its own branch. So Northern Ohlone is Chochenyo, um, Ramaytush, Tamian, Awaswas, and Chalon is in the middle. But as you can see here, it seems like the word for mouth is just split on where you are. If you're Karkin, Northern Ohlone, or Southern Ohlone, because Southern Ohlone in Chalon, they all have a similar word that is completely unrelated from the rest. So sometimes it just depends on branch placement. So let's look at the word for abalone. Not a lot of words documented, but Chochenya is pe'a, pe'a. Awaswas is tupsesh or tupenish, tupenish. And mutsun is hashan, hashan. And rumsen is aulun, aulun. So here in this case for abalone, they are all just unrelated. And sometimes a word just depends on what language it is. They are no matter the branch placement or if they're in the same branch or whatever, they're just completely different words. They're not related to each other at all. So this is an abalone. Um, I'm California, so beautiful creature. So look at a peculiarity. This is just one that I found. For the word for coyote. So Chochenya is mayan. Mayan. Ramaytush, mayan. Same thing. Tamian, we don't know. Awaswas is either wakshish or mayan. Both were recorded. Mutsun is wakshish. And rumsen is machan. And chochen, ch oh, sorry, chalon is mayan. So as we can expect, northern Ohlone, they take something along the lines of mayan, machan, whatever. So chochenya, ramaytush, chalon, and awaswas, they have both have, they all have mayan. And we would expect Southern Ohlone, like Mutsun and Rumsen, to have a different word. I mean, Mutsun is for sure Wakshish. And Awaswas also has Wakshish. This is why I think they're a little transitional in the middle. But for some reason, Rumsen takes Machan. Machan instead of something along the lines of Wakshish. So why is it that this Southern Ohlone word, uh, Southern Ohlone language, is taking this word that appears more in Northern Ohlone? So... That is a peculiarity, and we don't really know the answer to this, but I hope you enjoy this video. This really just goes over basic things about the Ohlone languages and how you can tell the difference between Northern and Southern Ohlone. So if you're learning a Mutsu and you want to learn another Ohlone language, I would say Runsen is the best because they're the most related. You're learning Chochenyo and you want to learn Chalon, I'm going to say it's pretty, not all completely similar, but pretty similar. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it clears up some things. Shururu.